Let's now create the patterns on this surface. And first, I'm going to turn off the visibility of these bodies. Zooming in, I'm going to go to change our workspace, going to patch. And under create, I'm going to select offset, selecting frame body. And for the offset distance, the value would be zero. So operation, new body, and hit OK. So this is now our new surface, body. I'm going to go to right view. I'm going to hit M for move and select this body. I'm going to move this one in the Z distance at 100 and hitting OK. Next, I'm going to turn off the visibility of our frame and I'm going to make a window selection. I'm going to delete this one, delete, and delete. And deleting this one as well. Creating a window selection, hitting delete, and going back to right view and zooming in. So I'd like to make three copies for this surface. I'm going to select body 12, control C, and left click bodies, control V, hitting OK. So clicking bodies once more, control V, hitting OK. And now I'm going to rename this one to back handle. I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to rename this one to side and this one to front. So this will be our reference surfaces. I'm going to turn off the visibility of side and front. Next, since we are targeting this back face, I'm going to select this face, deleting this face, and deleting this face. Also here, going back to right view. Next, I'm going to go to model workspace and going to create and select thicken now selecting this surface now for the thickness i'm going to type in 0.5 operation new body and hit ok next i'm going to hit l for line and select our yz plane I'm going to create a line parallel to this surface. So I'm going to left click this one and left click here, hitting escape. I'm going to go to stop sketch and go to construct and select plane at angle. Now for the line, I'm going to select this line. I'm going to rotate the angle to be zero and hit OK. I'm going to hit R to grab our rectangle and select this plane. Next, I'm going to grab my center rectangle, dropping my first point here. Now the values, I'm going to type in 17, hitting enter, hitting R once more, Selecting center rectangle, dropping our center point here. I'm going to key in the value, which is 24, hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension. I'm going to turn on the visibility of our origin, selecting this point. 
and this edge I'm going to drop our dimension here I'm going to key in 64 hitting enter next selecting this point and this horizontal line dropping our dimension here I'm going to key in 146 hitting enter now for this one make sure it's encompassing this back of our handle and now I'm going to hit E for extrude zooming in I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm gonna make sure that we are cutting above so I'm gonna change this one to 60 hitting E once more for extrude selecting this profile and this profile dragging our arrow for operation it should be cut and for the extents all and finally hit OK so going to home view next I prefer our vertical cut to be on a separate sketch and extrusion I'm gonna go to our browser and scroll down turning on plane 1 right click and create sketch I'm gonna hit R for rectangle I'm gonna create a rectangle here and a rectangle here hitting escape next I'm gonna go to symmetry left click this one selecting this vertical line this vertical line and our symmetry line this vertical line this vertical line and our symmetry line hitting escape and going to constraints and selecting collinear selecting this line and this line this line and this line next I'm gonna hit D to grab our dimension selecting this vertical lines I'm gonna drop our dimension here I'm gonna key in 23 hitting escape and hitting E selecting this profile and this profile I'm gonna go to home view I'm gonna drag this arrow to create a cut operation now for extents I'm gonna select all and finally hit OK.